Hey, I'm Skylar Woodward. I'm two-time Moscone Cup MVP, and you're watching Railbirds TV. Well, hello everyone. This is Jeremy Jones with Railbirds TV. This is the 2020 uh, Derby City Classic One Pocket Division. Uh, two great players here, Justin Hall and Richie Richardson, in a fifth round match. You can see Justin Hall with four wins and Pool Dues is his sponsor. Pool Dues, a pool room down in Morgan, Morgantown, uh, Morgan City, excuse me, Louisiana. Richie Richardson with uh, also four wins and some nice ones in there. So both these guys undefeated here in the fifth round. So someone's going to go away here with five big wins to start this one pocket tournament. and Somebody's going to have a loss, but two of the finest one pocket players you'll see in America. And actually two guys that have spent a lot of time together traveling, uh, know each other's games very well. Learned a lot from each other, actually. A couple of former road buddies and possibly future road buddies. You never know. Justin, a guy that, in my opinion, when playing, plays the game just about as well as it can be played. Uh, meaning, really has the mind for the game. Of course, if you know pool, you know how great he banks the ball. And former Moscone Cup player shoots the ball great. And he learned a lot from this man right here, Richard Richardson. Richie being from, uh, a lot of people think Detroit, but actually a bit more north. Now he's going to play the six with a lot of speed, two rails into the bottom of the seven. Oh, he was trying to get him up table. And this table, these tables are pretty fast, so that may have given a, up a shot on the seven. I don't know. No, I don't think he did, actually. And he was trying to sweep that six ball to the bottom cushion side rail and catching a, any kind of bottom portion of that seven to try and maybe push the six back towards the pocket and double Justin up, up table. Okay, he's getting a, a long look at the seven ball. And a lot of times when it's tight like this, you really stay away from drawing it. You usually hit a follow stroke of some sort. And that's what you see there from Justin. should come around for the 10 here probably two rails with a little bit of high english maybe a touch of right okay is that going to get there no and that's going to be a little upsetting it's going to have a two railer on the nine and this is uh, one where i'm not sure he can play it at the hole and get to the rail and get the cue ball back into the stack maybe now justin this is where he really excels one of those guys who banks the ball well and Possibly one of the best bankers in the world uh, when having to do something with the cue ball as well. So really um, sets up to be a great one pocket player. Now we'll see how Richie wants to respond. He could play something off the stack, but a lot of times, in my opinion, that the inevitable is the two rail kick behind the nine. So instead of getting to where that may not be an option or that may not be an, a good option, meaning he may end up giving up something, uh, I might try and do that now. Now he's looking at, uh, like to me at first, he was really considering two railing this and trying to bank across the nine, sending it at his pocket like that. It's going to give up a cross corner bank. This one he may have to draw out of this here, either lightly or snatch it to the to the rail like that. Doesn't want to let him see the three. Lays him underneath the nine a little bit to where, yeah, Richie could bank the nine, but not really a whole lot of future with that shot. A nice kick on the eight, though. Could, oh, I would have hit that one, I thought. I'm surprised he didn't try to go into the eight and put a little speed on that one. It's going to cost Richie one. A 
looks like Richie may be able to get between the one and the three and maybe get at that 15 on the side rail there. It's close. I tell you, that'd be an effective shot. Maybe even be able to play it at his pocket. A little short on the bank. We'll see here. Justin has to be a little careful, even though pretty clear with the cue ball, but he's got to be real careful He'll, here playing this nine, probably back up where he, oh, he played the twice here. Hey, pretty safe. He knew the three didn't really bank. The one eight didn't bank. Holding the cue ball on the side rail. With the ball on the bottom rail, it was kind of hard to give up a bank there, so... Pretty smart shot. The only thing is you may give up some position here by just kind of making sure you're not burying the cue ball, kind of like this. Now, Richie could have really laid that cue ball down on the stack. Well, you could see with the two up top and the 15 down below, things could have gotten a little hairy for, for Justin. He's not going to take any chances, I don't think. And you could see him change his mind two or three times there while he was kind of down on the ball. Good idea to get up off it there and regroup. Okay, cut him off of seeing the 15 on the bottom rail. Very important. Richie's got to be real careful falling this cue ball down now. Oh, this is going to give up too much angle, I th think, on the 15, maybe. Maybe not. Maybe that's a little steep cut back bank for even for Jay Hall. And he's just going to knock this ball away. I think he should still go up table, maybe. Yeah. Going to kick it. Oh, no, he did what I was talking about, and I think that's correct. And the thing about that shot there is he, you can play it back underneath the stack. You can try to make it as well, but even if the speed tells you that the 15 is just going to end up, you know, underneath the 8 somewhere, that's very safe, and play play the cue ball more froze on the rail. This actually makes things a little easier for Richie being able to knock this away. And I'm really curious why Richie played that lightly. Trying to block the bank alley, I guess. And the bank alley is an issue, but position was a little issue there. He could have knocked that 15 away and tried to remove the 3 or the 9, maybe both, getting, getting a ball on his side. Is Richie looking at something like the 12 ball here? Stun into the 15 ball with the cue ball. I well, definitely played the cue ball, and you'll see that a lot of times when it's kind of tight. You'll see a player kind of concentrate on making sure he doesn't catch that four going by and really not put the effort into the object ball. Richie's such a great player, I think if he puts just concentrate on that long rail bank right there that's why he shot it because it was sitting nice and not saying you can got to ignore the cue ball but you got to know you're going to take care of the cue ball a little bit and really concentrate on making that ball and now it's opened up for game one for justin hall to, he only needs two It looked like he missed it just a little bit, but time for Richie to shoot at his pocket. I'm sure he's going to shoot the nine. Cut it, go the rail, and try and open them balls. No reason to try and, you know, run safe below the one for a goofy bank on the one possibly. And 
No future, I think, with a seven negative one score count here in our opening game. You just shoot this in, draw the rail, and try to open them balls. May not need to draw the rail. Maybe he just goes to the rail and catches the three anyways. But I don't think safety's in mind here. No lag speed. Go ahead and play at that nice medium confident stroke. And he hit a little thick. So game one's going to be conceded. And Richie Richardson, who lost the lag, will break in game number two. These guys are, you can see they left the table, but now I'm back. Richie, really a guy that's just got a great mind for the game. And most pool games, really, uh, just real knowledgeable player and Maybe not in his prime anymore, you know, 50, early 50s, I guess, but uh, still plays the game really well. You can tell both these guys with four opening wins uh, to start this 2020 Derby, one pocket division. See, Richie pulls the ball way out. Now that's something to, to secure, not scratching. You'll see that a little bit more, I think, in tournament play, or if maybe the balls aren't racking exactly, you know, like a player would like. There's a little bit of question mark in there with the rack. Now he's just going to draw for this ball lightly down there. Now one good thing to watch there is pay attention to is you see the cue ball come down slowly and that's how you want it to look to stay in control of a lot of these shots especially playing one pocket so that that hit there on the one was a real full hit to create that slow movement of the cue ball coming down did a pretty good job and he didn't have to be perfect with the cue ball just because it wasn't that devastating of a break meaning Justin won't have to defend against five or six different balls here, most likely. Oh, he went for the kick shot. Ah, turned out all right. I don't think you're going to see Justin shooting at that 11 that's peeking its head at the top of the spot. I mean, wouldn't be horrible if he did, but I don't think he's going to shoot it just because... Uh, I mean, there's no guarantee for a shot. I think he probably will come away with a shot, but. He may scramble these balls here on the two, eight, and nine, just because that stack is sitting so nice. You can take a bit more of a chance when it comes to that kind of stuff. Nice two rail kick there. One of the ones I like to shoot a lot, actually. I'll tell you, it sounds crazy. There's a double bank on the eight that's sitting pretty nice, actually, where he can slide the cue ball between the three nine over and double bank the eight up and down the table at his pocket. Got to be careful here if he leaves Justin off the rail with the 11 sticking out there. Uh, and not only that, he's leaving him on the good side of the stack where R Justin's got a good chance to make something happen. I don't think Richie can afford to cut at the two. I'm not sure he really wants to thin the eight over and run the cue ball. I wouldn't worry about the two myself. You can see the 13 and 10 right next to it. It's kind of, kind of slow the cue ball down for any type of position.
He could actually kick the one uh, to the come to the bottom rail and kick the one towards the seven a little bit and slide the cue ball back up table where it's at now. Kind of similar to the shot he played last, even though he went two rails on the last one. And he's aiming at the two, so he's just going to float. Okay, he played it. Oh, he's giving up a bank on the nine there. And a good one. A real good one. And one thing that Richie's got to be aware of is that seven ball right there. He can't just leave the cue ball wide open here. Uh, because Justin may bank at that ball, yeah. He went in and played it with speed, trying to stun the ball. Now, I think Justin, as good as this, he, great as he banks and as good as this is sitting, I'm surprised. He, he must really feel confident in this match because a lot of he's just rolling. And like here, I'm surprised he wasn't looking for position is what I was thinking. Surprised he didn't elevate and draw into the 13-10 there and just leave the three wide open for for a shot. I mean, huge favorite to make that. Now, does this 13 go off the 10 right at the face of the 3 to make it, maybe? Uh, he's looking at a combination. He can't. He's got to draw the ball a little bit. Yeah, I'm not really seeing... Three off the six, maybe could clear his whole inside with that shot if he, unless he's just dead rolling it. One off the eight, I kind of like. Let the one go towards some balls, pushing the ball over, and let the eight kind of one rail, not towards your hole, and you could just bring the cue ball back on the side rail where you're standing. He's shooting at a ten-six combination, pretty well. Good shot. Richie's going to cut this 13, though. He may be able to get the cue ball onto the rail, maybe kick the six away from Justin's pocket. Kind of needs that to hold position. Otherwise, this may have too much speed on it and get around back up table and not leave a shot at all like that. Yeah, that's, that's what I would have been worried about. Hit it nice. Now, what's the 14-4 look like? These guys were discussing if a ball was moved and ran into the path. These guys will figure it out for sure. But I'm curious about the 14 off the four. If you can hit that with a high ball, and I think the 14 might play towards the pocket or in the pocket, and maybe the four sweeps the uh, the six out a little bit. He's not going to look at it. It's a very dangerous shot, but man, it sure does look like it lays good. This is a funny little shot, unless he's just going to make it for him, being froze on the rail. I don't think he can get to the bottom rail to try and kick it out. I think he's just got to concede this one, Richie does. So 1-1 one, one here. Oh, no, excuse me. 2-1, to one, Justin Hall here in game number two. If you're just joining us, I'm Jeremy Jones with Railbirds TV. It's a 2020 Derby City one-pocket match. Round five between Justin Hall and Richie Richardson. Justin won the lag and Justin won the lag and won game one fairly easily. Oh, I like the two railer on the. F well, I can't really do that. Never mind. I was thinking the two railer on the five, but the fourteen, uh, the fifteen is just a little too shootable. 
You want to remove the 15. Now, I would roll to the side rail here. Yeah, like that. Now, it's important you get to the rail with the cue ball. Just mainly so they can't do a whole lot, like, constructive with the shot. Usually when they're froze here, they're just rolling off the ball, which is what you want. Oh, see, he played it. Bank combination. Hit it pretty well. Two rail kick isn't the worst here if you feel good about it, if you feel comfortable about it. Probably not the shot, though. I know it's a hard one to pass, aim high, and kick into the ball with some spin. You want to aim up, and then you need some right English. Yeah, you really want the cue ball to be carrying up the table there, I think. He may be able to stiff this ball in, ladies and gentlemen, and get the cue ball up table for the three. It's close. A diamond table really sets up for this shot better than any other. Ah, he missed it. May have gotten fortunate not left a shot. Oh, Richie's going to cut it, this three ball. Lost the cue ball up in the corner as well. So I'm not sure. Maybe the 11's playable for Justin up by the head string. If the 2 is playable, that's the one he's shooting. But you can see with that great camera angle, that's not really very shootable. So it may be the... Ooh, I'm not sure if I like that or just shooting the 1 down the rail and going down for the bank on the 3. Okay, he can get up under it pretty well. Sometimes you get close to it, though, and you're trying to get the cue ball going forward. Okay, got it. No position, though. But now to a 3 nothing lead here in game number two. Looks like Richie's trying to stiff this bank in. He's got to watch out here. I know it looks like it's free, but... Ooh. Uh, look, he may have given up a cross corner to Justin and a couple of them, the 13 or the 9. I think he's going to shoot the 13 just because... Is there a playable combination after the... If he was to shoot the 9, is there anything playable after? And the 13 is definitely more secure a bank like that. Mm, Richie queuing up to get this out. Man, that's a big chance. That's a big chance right there. And it came away okay, freezing reason Justin to the rail but it's only three to nothing in the ball count in a crucial game two taking a big chance there knowing the cue ball is going to fly so a little surprising to me not much here Richie may draw off the nine here or the five don't think he tries to lay the cue ball. Well, he's shooting up table at something. The thing about this trap right here, of course, you're trying to open up something for a bank and whatnot, but playing the best players now, they don't give up those banks so easily, and you don't really have much by the hole, even though he did hit it nice, and he really kind of kept a little bit of handcuff on Justin as far as Okay, Justin took a little bit of a chance there, moving balls, but um, nice cue ball. And knows he has balls on his side that go. So he has a little more free reign when it comes to disrupting the balls. Now Richie's looking at a four ball, I guess. Taking on some tough shots. He must feel like he can follow past the 11 with the cue ball for shape and safe. Okay, 
and Justin very similar to the 14 he just knocked away earlier. Same thing, just moving this up table. And we do these kind of things, it's especially with the lead, it makes it, oh, he's going for another. This is even tighter than the last one. And if the three catches the two, oh, wow, how good he hit it. Now, Justin may cross corner this three ball, maybe. The two's covering up the scratch. I think it's okay, actually. I don't think it's going to... Oh, the 11, yeah. Now, does he try to get safe, or has he just come back over the two ball here? Oh, he tries to go back and forth for shape, and pretty smart shot, really. Kind of trapping uh, Richie, forcing Richie's hand. The thing is, there's no easy position. The eight's a shootable shot. The three's a shootable shot. But what do you really gain position with? The eight's not the one, I don't think. He may have to shoot this 12-9 combination. He's eyeing it up. Now, the three is one thing to where maybe the he gets shape on the four or the nine. Got to roll this in. Now, the thing is, you don't want to roll it and just get one. Hey, Richie Rich, pretty upset with that miss. Now Justin Hall with four. All about getting on this first one here after the four ball. Maybe float past the eight just because it's the easiest one to get started with. Okay, he played for the 12. And that's going to actually fall pretty nice on the 12 to slide over for the eight. Getting him to where he needs one. He could shoot the 14 if he wanted. Nothing wrong with that. If he was a hair thicker on the 14, he definitely shoots it. But main thing here is don't take on a missable ball. And now he's really nice on the 12 just to screw the cue ball back for the one. Nice little bump. And the last ball in game two is going to be conceded just like game one with the same result. Justin Hall now leads in this fifth round match 2-0. And we'll be breaking here in game three. seen this a lot here at the 2020 Derby is two players like both right-handed uh, breaking to opposite pockets a lot so there is a lot of differences of opinions and a lot of times it just comes down to how well you hit the ball from one side or the other now Richie's sizing up a is it a 14 ball he's trying to get at here maybe the three in between uh, or the five rather we'll see probably hitting it with a little speed here wouldn't be rolling through these balls. Okay. May have given up a cut on the 14. That's the one thing when you leave the good players and the great players close to the ball. Uh, they're going to be very accurate. So you have to almost make sure the ball isn't shootable at all. Meaning like uh, it's just not, not almost not physically possible to make it if you're going to start to leave them close to them. Especially when they have balls near their hole because he could play the... You know, the 14 off the two here and stick you on the balls. I mean, there's a lot of choices. That's why I tend to stay away from the ball on top of the stack normally uh, when getting out of the break. Unless I really know I'm going to put something in front of my pocket. Now, is he looking for a little tickle off the six here? 14 off the six? Oh, off the seven. Pretty good effort and pretty free effort. And now Richie's going to have to scramble the 6 onto the 14. You, uh, you can see he can't just simply make the 14 and leave the cue ball uh, just open with those open balls below the stack. So it should be something like the 6 on the 14. Maybe nestle your cue ball back 6 or 8 inches behind the 7. Oh, he missed the 14. He's going to wonder how the heck did that happen. 
He's trying to go to the rail and hit the edge of the 14. So Justin Hall, who's had all the shots in this game, when, uh, in this match, excuse me, when it comes to pocketing balls, but he's got another one. Oh, that's a easy, easy, simple shot that he made a big error on there. And if Richie gets back to the table, which he will after what it looks like a some Justin would like to have back, might be time to take a little time out and regroup. Okay, he's going to stick him in the stack here, playing the nine back on the 11 into the five, something like that. Or into the 13, into the five. Nice shot. No, he's got him elevated there over a ball where he really can't cut the five. Not easy to move the 11 and not give up a shot on the five as well. So he's got to be real careful here, that being Richie. I guess he just draws up underneath the five, but he's a little jacked up on that also so yeah this he got away with that a little bit i don't think he wanted maybe he wanted to come above it he wouldn't normally shoot the ball that way but yeah this is surprising here i'm not saying it's surprising to shoot it but uh, it must have been laying really nice because he didn't take much time as he have another kiss of the eight off the six don't think he can draw this one and make it though can he I think if he draws it, it hits the side rail, maybe. Maybe not. Oh, no. He hit it with a little more speed to try and make sure it deflected a little bit. And you could see he could feel I couldn't quite draw my ball. Kind of had to stun it a little bit to try and get it back. He's just going to stick him on the four here, try and freeze him. Oh. Okay, Justin playing pretty tight. So he could have froze him on the back of the four there and not taken much chance at all. And kept Richie off of a lot okay uh, should try to get at that seven if he can he's just going to move him up table with a three nothing lead Richie will follow suit banging this 11 ball in well this is is he looking at trying to go up Near the five ball with the cue ball. That's a dangerous shot. You do, Again, you're trying to protect not much near your pocket. So, okay, you hit it perfect. All you've really done is kept your opponent from shooting at his hole. You really haven't put any heat on him. So when you don't hit it perfect, now Justin or whomever you're playing has a lot of free reign because you don't have anything really near your pocket. So easy for them to send something towards theirs and not have a lot of pressure on them. Just, just kind of remember when you're playing one pocket, there, the, you always got to look at the value. Is there value in me really sending the cue ball up and giving my opponent a lot of options without really any pressure on him because I don't have anything near my pocket? All right, he's going to cross corner this ball, come back towards the four with the cue ball. He hit it well. Okay, and he's gotten... Justin may take on this this 11 ball just because he can cue it pretty well and the other one is he can't cue the cue to get at the 14 that well so I was going to say he's got a lot of reward here too it looks like that was a great shot there now he'll just soft draw between the 2 and 3 most likely Another one here, another nice little soft draw to the rail and to the back side of the two. Uh, looks good. Justin Hall's probably going to get to where he needs one, if not get all the way out. Okay, so we'll see if he wants to cut at it. He probably doesn't from here. I know Justin pretty well. He's Oh, caught a little kiss there. So 
Richie's going to get a chance to shoot at his pocket with the seven and get something started. Maybe get back behind that nine ten. Maybe behind the 12, he's got a nice natural angle to do so. Big shot for Richie here, I think. Not just for this match. I mean, obviously, he wants to get on the board and get something going. But he's undefeated going into this fifth round, so he's playing well. Hadn't played his best this match. He's had a few get away from him, that's for sure. But... Shooting these balls in because this is the Derby, so you'll be right back to playing soon, win or lose. So shooting some balls in here, like I said, it may not get much out of this match as far as uh, results, but sure may help Richie Rich going on to what would be round number six. You'd see him, he's like, what do I got to do? And made a couple of nice shots, still not, not a whole lot to work with. Now, do you play the four past the 10 lightly over to your side? Nah, probably don't take no chance there. Just play it. Oh, he did. Okay. And the reason why I was worried about that is the speed's hard, and you know you're really never making it. So you're kind of, unless the speed's really, really good, you're kind of giving Justin a free roll at this at this uh, 12 ball or 10 ball to win. Excuse me. Okay, a nice little cross corner. Richie could be a nice and aggressive 10 ball at the four. He ball kind of straight up the middle of the table. I uh, got away from him a little bit. So it should be knock the 10 away, lay the cue ball behind the four. And Richie can't really do much here, but just ticky, ticky the four and rest below it. I think, he, I think he got to the cushion there. Okay, he's going to move this over towards the 10. You all up to the center of the table. Did he get behind the 12 as well? That'd be too good. That's a nice shot there. Uh, Richie's got to be really, really careful. Yeah, hard to come down low. Easy to leave a long rail bank if you do get below the four. Looking at cutting the 12. May have to curve his ball at the four. Can he get at the four just to knock the four away and lay on this side of the table, but you know, kind of underneath the 10 a little bit? He's looking at cutting the 12. Oh no, he can't get at the four. This is where he may have to just subtly curve at the four and try and hit it nice and heavy. Just let it bank up. Yeah, he's just gonna, a little bit of swerve here. Oh no, he could see it. Okay, so there wasn't really much question there what the shot was. Uh, Richie was just trying to get a nice feel for the t cut on the 12 to see if he could do something with it. Two real are coming at the hole here. A little high right English. I uh, hit it great. It's going to hit the bottom rail, I think, but whew, pretty good effort. Soft kick here. You got to be careful if you're going to kick firm. Yeah, you give up the six ball bank. That's what I would have been worried about there. Is it, I think it's fairly free as well. Oh, he caught the other ball coming in. Okay, Richie's got to draw his ball. He may roll it. If he draws it, you got to watch out for the scratch off the 10 in the corner. Oh, he rolled it. Oh, he scratched off the 6. Wow. Kind of darned if he do, damn darned if he don't. You can see them guys, a nice handshake there between friends. 
Richie will be back with one loss. Justin Hall will be back with no losses in the sixth round. I'm Jeremy Jones with Railbirds TV. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Have a good night.